so all things were created not just by him, but for him. But start counting them from now on, all joy. Only one receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may win. And of course, you know, this chiastic structure is a word picture of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Who can get assurance of salvation? Second, how can we obtain assurance of salvation? But tucked between 12 and 14 is this wonderful lyrical passage about love. He was praying and making requests. And he had a joy about him and the things that he was doing. He lifts up our guilt and our shame and gives us white robes that are his righteousness. I can't begin to fathom that. So geographically, they're not that far apart, but spiritually, they are worlds apart from where they need to be. A king above all kings, then you and I can go out in confidence speaking for him. And the Bible says that when we were saved, when we were born again, regenerated by the Spirit of God, God took us out of the kingdom of darkness and put us into the kingdom of God. He said, I do pour out my spirit. And by the way, that word spirit ought to be capitalized. This is talking about the Holy Spirit. The faithful were forced into slavery just like the unfaithful were. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones. And the force here is this, this time. People that run, that resist, that say no. God bless Joseph for doing what he did. He describes for us seven hindrances to the greater progress of the gospel. Jews, all ecclesiastical and political authority was erased against them, and so they did the one thing that they could. They prayed. No. God takes care of us when we're doing what he wants us to do. He leads us where he wants us to go, empowers us to do what he's instructed us to do.